Hey everyone, uh, Frankie here. Um, just thought I'd do a quick video about an application called Scrapebox. Um, I bought this a couple of weeks ago, and I've seen lots of questions in the in the forums and so forth about how to use it. And um, it's a pretty powerful application, so um, I thought we'd um, go over the harvesting in um, Scrapebox. All right. When you load it up, you'll see that you've got um, the harvesting section up here. You've got a couple of options: custom footprints, uh, blog engine, WordPress, movable type. Um, you got a drop down, which is your custom uh, inputs for your harvester. There, um, of course, you can import uh, keywords, save keywords out. Of course, there's nothing to save out there. Um, down further we've got Google, Yahoo, Bing and AOL so there's four search engines that um, Scrapebox will harvest URLs from uh, you've got proxies um, results this is the number of results per keyword so when you type your keywords in here um, you can set that up to a thousand now I've seen a lot of people um, say you know I can't harvest past a thousand URLs for a keyword and that's simply because the engines don't show any more than a thousand URLs so that's as high as it goes so if you want more just um, you're gonna have to load it up with more keywords um, also here we've got which is pretty cool we've got the timeline um, Google Yahoo and AOL uh, let you search for pages that were um, index within the last uh, certain time frame uh, Bing doesn't have this option but um, when you use the harvester you can you can just harvest fresh URLs from the past week three months six months year so that gives you a bit of control over what you harvest and and that sort of thing okay well proxies they're a good idea um, Google is renowned for blocking you when you go scraping millions of URLs from their pages so you've got to manage proxy section in here in um, Scrapebox and what you can do you can harvest um, proxies from a number of sources on the, on the web uh, these are only free proxies and you know the results will vary um, you can you can test them everything actually I'll just harvest a couple here um, here we go I'll set it off running as you can see there it's going out and um, grabbing all these proxies from um, the various sites we've got a list here I'll go through and run a test probably not going to get a whole lot that are working um, I mean they're free free proxies go up and down all the, all the time they're um, not 100% reliable so if you do buy a scrape box uh, my suggestion is um, pay a couple of bucks get some private proxies um, and then you won't have to deal with you know hunting for free proxies scanning them worrying about them going down and that sort of thing but um, as you can see here we've got uh, 15 good proxies Oh, sorry 11 good proxies 89 bad um, with those you can you can just save them out transfer them save them to the disk um, transfer them back to the the main application to use and there they are in there so that's how you do that I'm gonna go ahead and clear them um, load some proxies from disk instead here's some that I um, collected up earlier when you import them in ask if you want to do a test no I won't bother okay got our proxies got proxies ticked that means we're going to scrape with um, various proxies across the engines up here custom footprint what this will do is search Google Yahoo Bing and AOL for any footprint you want um, you can see in here there's all in URL showthread.php that is a vBulletin forum URL so if you type your keyword in the box there it will go out and search 
the various search engines for for that um, specific URL. Uh, we got WordPress. This um, will obviously hunt for WordPress blogs, so we'll go and harvest a few of those, and we'll type in just a few keywords. Uh, computers. Um, what else did he have? Laptops. Um, notebooks. There we go. Right now we can choose whichever engines we want. <coughs> I've found that um, if you choose all four engines, um, a lot of URLs duplicate because the same sites sort of rank in Google, Yahoo, and Bing in the top 1,000. So for now, I'll just go ahead and untick those. Um, three keywords, thousand results per keyword. For this, I'll just trim it down to make it um, quicker for the video. So there we have 100 results per keyword. So we'll get 100 for computers, 100 for laptops, and 100 for notebooks. We start harvesting. And off it goes. Computer had a bit of a freeze there, but as you can see here, it's come up. Computers connecting with proxy it tells you the um, the proxy. Now results zero zero zero. This is because the proxies are bad. Um, Three o two. That means it's being redirected to the um, bulk queries page on Google that says sorry, we're we're unable to serve your your requests. But Scrapebox is smart enough to detect this and keep trying with good proxies until it um, gets page two, so it won't uh, miss any results and so forth. And um, as you can see, it's going along there now. Proxies are bad, but um, I'll just go ahead and end that here. Done. Okay, then we've got um, a few URLs here. This option you can export it as an Excel, um, just your keywords, how many it found, and so forth. Right, once the um, harvesting's done, you'll see the, the URLs populated up here in, in the harvester. Um, if they're cut off, you can just hover over them and um, get a tooltip there with the full URL. A couple other things you can do is you can right click on these um, you can copy URL to clipboard so you can you know put it in your browser and take a look um, remove individual URLs from the list um, also here you can open it in an internal browser um, which is pretty handy I'll just try and get this in the screen here and there you go um, Scrapebox has got its own internal browser so you can quickly sort of view the sites, navigate through your uh, list of URLs, see what they're all about without um, having to put them in a browser. And as you can see here, we harvested um, WordPress. And there we go, WordPress comment form.